Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, just doing one more example on using the method of sections to solve 2D trust problems in statics. So in this case, I'm going to have us solve the for what the internal force is in member CD here. Um, there's two ways we can do it. We could use the method of joints where we solve one joint at a time and working our way across the truss. Or in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to use the method of sections. So we're basically just going to cut this in half uh, and after we've solved for the reaction supports, then we'll be able to just solve for that right away. It's a much quicker process for picking out one individual internal force. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to draw a free body diagram for the whole structure to solve for the support reactions. So we'll take the sum of forces in the x direction and set that equal to zero. And if we look at this, we only have one force in the x direction, and that is fx. So the reaction force Fx, the horizontal reaction there, is zero. The next thing that we need to do is take the sum of forces in the y direction and set that equal to zero. And then we'll sum up all of the y forces we have. So we have we have Ay plus Fy minus 100 minus 400. Okay, and that's all equal to zero. So we can just simplify that. Um, we'll just have a y plus f sorry not so five f y is equal to five hundred newtons. All right, and then we just have to take the sum of moments about some point. Let's say point A. We'll define our positive sense as the counterclockwise direction. Um, we'll set that all equal to zero, and we'll figure out the moments that all these forces cause. So this one here we have negative one hundred newtons times one meter minus 400 newtons times uh, 2 meters and we'll make that bracket a bit nicer and then lastly this guy up here will have plus because it's going to cause that positive moment there with a counterclockwise rotation uh, we have Fy uh, times 3 meters all right, we don't need to add in Fx to this expression because we already know that Fx is 0 newtons Okay, so let's go ahead and we simplify this. So this is just negative 100 uh, minus 800 is equal to, uh, no, well, let's say equal to, we'll say plus 3Fy, that's all equal to 0. So if we just rearrange for Fy, then we'll get 900 over 3, or that's equal to 300 newtons. And that is actually in this positive, so that's how we drew it, so it's in the upward direction. Uh, the next thing that we can do is we can just take that, plug it into this expression, so we'll get Ay plus 300 is equal to 500. And then we'll just find out that Ay is equal to uh, 200 newtons, also in the upward direction. All right, so now the only other thing we have to do to solve for CED is do part two of the problem where we pass a section through our truss, which is basically a virtual cut, cutting our truss into two completely separate parts. We have to make sure that our cut passes through the, the member that we're looking for and also only passes through a maximum of three members because we can't solve for more than three unknowns. So I'm going to pass our section through like this, and we'll go ahead and we'll draw a free body diagram and I'm going to pick to solve using the left side of the truss. If you wanted to, you could solve with the right side. All right, so now that we've ditched the right-hand side of the truss, we've made our virtual cut, and we've drawn all of these internal forces in the members that we've cut in tension. Uh, we always draw them in tension, and then if we get a positive answer when we solve them, then we know that we've correctly assumed it's in tension. And if we get a negative answer, then we'll just know that we incorrectly assumed tension, and it's actually in compression. So just to solve this, it's exactly the same process as any other two-dimensional two free-body diagram. Uh, we'll just start with the sum of forces in the x-direction. Uh, set that equal to zero, and we'll see what we get. So we have, uh, we have BD uh, plus we have here CD cos, uh, we should do C, D cos 45. 45 and then plus C E that's all going to be equal to zero all right so we are if you remember we're looking for C D here uh, we need to go one step further we're going to take the sum of forces in the y direction start building out these equations of equilibrium 
Uh, so we have 200, so this is all equal to 0. We have this force here, it's positive 200. We have a negative 100 over there. And then BD and CE don't have horizontal components, it's just CD. So we'll just take the horizontal component of CD, and that's going to be pointing upwards, so that'll be C. D, uh, that is sine 45, and that's all equal to zero. So if we just rearrange this, we just get CD is equal to uh, negative 100 over sine of 45, just like that. And if you just do that, uh, that works out to negative 144.4 Newtons. This negative sign means that this member is in compression. So just in case your instructor is you know, not following you along, just make sure you write that C in brackets there. Uh, so you're just clearly identifying that this member is in compression. Okay, so that actually answers the question. Uh, that was two steps. Step one, free body diagram of the whole thing, find the reactions. And step two, just cut where you want and cut the members you want and just solve for those members. If the question was asking for B, D, and C, E, well, we could just take the sum of moments about point A again and solve for those. But in this case, the question was just asking for what is the internal force in C, D, and we found it to be 144.4 newtons in compression. So that answers the question, and we're going to move on to the next video.